Hi, welcome to Elise Now Books. Today I've got my May wrap up. I read a decent amount in May, considering I had a really bad slump and also I was really poorly with tonsillitis. I read a decent amount. I'm going to start off with the graphic novels that I read. I read Nimona um, and I gave this a three stars. It was okay. My only problem was I kind of felt a bit too old for it in a way. Um, I think if I'd have read this about 15 years ago, I'd have loved it. But for me at my age, I don't know. I just I found it a bit silly, and I just I didn't sort of gel to it. I wasn't warm to it at all. So yeah, three stars. The next graphic novel I read was Rat Queen. This was also a three stars. A little bit disappointed by this because a lot of people say how amazing this is, but for me it was just too character driven. There wasn't a plot and I do like a good plot and it just, yeah, no, it wasn't for me. And then the final graphic novels I read in May were Saga Volume 4, Saga Volume 5. I gave volume four or four stars and I gave volume five or five stars and um, I love this series really strongly advise it if you're interested in going into graphic novels I'd say Saga is a good one to start with it's highly addictive on to the books I read in May so I read this little kind of short quick reads book called wrong place wrong time by Simon Koenig I think I gave this a four star it was decent um it was gripping it was a page turner and I enjoyed it it's about this group of friends that rent out a cabin in the woods and they kind of find this girl who's absolutely terrified they try and help her and by helping her they kind of become uh, victims themselves and it's just such a gripping page turner it was great and then on to the books that kind of gave me such a slump and they were Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin, I gave this book a four stars and I gave this book a three stars and oh, I'm so disappointed. I just, I love Sarah J Maas. I love her Throne of Glass series. I personally find it a lot better than this series and I know that's going against the grain because I know a lot of people prefer this series to that one. Um, but I don't know, I just, I don't like Feyre, I don't like Tamlin, um, I don't like Rhysand, and I just, I don't know, I, I don't like any of the characters. I think my main issue with this series is how easy it is for Feyre to sleep with someone. The littlest compliment, littlest bit of attention, and that's it, she's yours, um, I, I don't know, she just, she's, she's, she's doesn't seem to play hard to get at all and there's a lot of sex in these books difficult to read and I'm absolutely devastated that I don't enjoy these books half as much as everyone else and I am going to continue reading her books but I just hope that they're an improvement on these because these are not for me. So after those, I was just in the worst slump. And um, what I did was I picked up Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. And wow, that was really hard. It's a hard book to read and I gave it a three stars. It's just hard work and I didn't always know what was going on. And it wasn't always terribly interesting. It, it, was a really hard classic to read um, and it didn't help that I was already kind of in a slump. I then read The Professor and that just turned everything around. I gave that a five out of five stars. It was incredible. If you like the Bronte books, please give The Professor a try. I know not a lot of people have read it, but it is really, really good. I think if you like Agnes Grey, you'll probably like The Professor. And then finally in May, I read The Little Tea Shop of Lost and Found, and I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, she, she talks about Howarth a lot in this book, and I could really picture everything that she was speaking about. And it was just one of those chick lit books that was really heartwarming. And yeah, I advise this book if you like chick lit books. So that was everything that I read in May. You know, it wasn't too bad, but could have been better. I just, I feel so gutted about the Sarah J Mass books. Hopefully her next one I'll absolutely love. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying what you're reading and I'll see you soon. Bye.